In this lesson, we will take a look at an alternative way to see WebRTC statistics without writing any code, and that's using Google Chrome's WebRTC internal staff. As the name suggests, this is a feature only available for Google Chrome. The statistics shown here are the internal format of Google and may be a bit out of sync with the ones shown by GetStat. However, the results will be similar to calling the API. So, let's use this feature to analyze the app we made in the previous chapter. So, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to open the terminal and we're going to run the application that we developed in the last chapter. So, I have, I have mine under Projects and under My WebRTC App. So, I'm going to run the application by typing Node app.js and the next thing I'm going to do is to open a new window of the browser and I'm going to open the application here local 3000 I'm going to open an additional an additional tab I'm also going to open the Chrome WebRTC internals page Right now, there is nothing in here, but once we establish the call, we will begin to see all the statistics in here. So, I'm going to, going to enter the WebRTC training room. I'm going to lower the volume, because I'm getting feedback. And I'm going to do the same in the other window. I have the call established. However, we are not going to focus on the call, but on the statistics. So I'm going to move to the other tab. We can see two things here. The first one is that I have a tab solely for get user media request. We can see that currently there are two windows that are making get user media request. Both are from the same URL, which is these two. We also have two other tabs. There is one for each of the tabs that I have opened. So let's take a look at one of them. So this is what these statistics look like. This screen is divided in four parts. In the upper part, we can see general information about the peer connection. One interesting here we can see here is the URLs of the stun and turn servers that we are using in this call. Currently, we are only using stun servers. We also have some other general information about the RTC peer connection. At the left, we have the WebRTC API trace. In here, we have an historical set of records that shows all the API calls and their correspondent response. We're going to see this in deep in a minute. At the right, we have the actual statistics that are similar to the ones shown by calling the get stats API. We're also going to take a look at this in a minute. And at the bottom of the page, we have some graphs for some of the stats that we have in here. So we can see some stuff like for the audio that we are sending, we can see a bunch of graphs that shows different stuff about this specific track. So let's take a look at each one of this. So when you're ready, move to the next lesson.